Hey Breezy Bunch, happy Friday. I hope everybody has an amazing weekend. Make amazing memories, make good choices, be safe, and just really enjoy your weekend. You deserve it, right? Well, I thought we can read some comments on Foodie Beauty's newest mukbang. Um, I did edit it into a short. I have her eating to an Oingo Boingo song, Dead Man's Party to be specific. If you haven't checked it out, go ahead and go watch it and really listen to the words of that song. All right, let's get to the comments. Kara is up first. Um, hold on, I'm going to put the comments up because I'm sick of staring at Booty Beauty. Okay, Kara said, it's one thing to realize the water cleanse was not for you. But dang, that's really one extreme to the other. Kara, you're right. She went from, you know, I'm only going to drink water. No food, no soda, no snacks, no nothing. Just food and water. She said that the next day she came back eating more than I think I've really ever seen her eat. She's always ate a lot of food. But this last week, especially the past few days, or since she announced the water fast, her eating's out of control. And what she doesn't realize, you know, I just want to say she always shames me for, you know, my addiction. Um... I'm an alcoholic, I have over five years sober, but she always drags me for that. What she doesn't realize is her addiction is just as deadly. And what's scary is she doesn't look at her food like it is an addiction. Addiction to foodie beauty is drugs and alcohol. Drugs and alcohol can kill, but you know what? So can food when you're addicted to it. She doesn't realize the severity of her situation. She needs to get inpatient help, and I feel like I say this every single video. I feel like I say it in the beginning of every video now. But whatever she's doing and trying to do, she can't do it on her own. And the more she tries, the more out of control everything is. I know Foodie Beauty watches my channel. I know she reads our comments. I know she watches my videos. Foodie Beauty... While you're busy shaming me for my addiction, you really need to get a handle on yours. For any kind of an addict, whatever your addiction is, you have three choices if you don't get help. Jails, institutions, or death. While you're r running around yelling and making sock accounts, and I'm going to sue, I'm going to sue, I'm going to sue. What you need to do? is get off the internet and go check yourself into inpatient rehab and get some help. Okay, I'm gonna like Kara's comment and let's continue. Um, Cherry said, did you have an argument with Salah and say, I'm going back to Canada? And then he apologized and you guys made up? Now you're no longer going to Canada. I did that once with my ex-boyfriend when I lived abroad. It's not that unusual. People argue. I think we missed a community post um, I, I believe I saw it on Twitter somewhere, so if I remember at the end of this video, after we're done reading comments, we'll read it. It was about her going back to Canada and if she's going and something about her and Slaw going on vacation. She must have deleted it pretty quickly because I didn't see it on her channel. Um, let's see. Sincerely, Samantha Hey said BS. Uh, let's see. Taliyu said, sincerity and consistency will garner you an audience that will never stop watching. Yeah, she won't ever have any of those. Nicole Rodriguez said, Plus, when I was at my highest weight, I used to always say, Tomorrow, I will start. Or next week, I will start. And this led me to eating large amounts of takeout, thinking it'll be my last day. That last day kept happening many times. And I gained so much weight just waiting to start a diet. One day, a random Thursday in the middle of the week, I got fed up and started my diet. And I lost 40 kg since then. Don't wait for a day, just start. There's never a perfect timing for anything. I'm liking your comment and I'm really happy for you. Good job. Um, let's see. Oh, because Nicole left another comment. So Nicole also said, I think eating like this before your diet starts on Monday is setting you up for failure because people usually eat less and less before they start their diet. So the first day your body feels comfortable to the less amount of food. Eating whatever you want and suddenly going cold turkey is a recipe for disaster. With any addiction though, with any addiction. I just wanted to point that out. Plus, I notice you always talk about diets and improving your health when you are eating or have finished eating. Yet with Foodie Beauty, I think 
six months from now, we're still going to hear about when she's starting her diet. We're going to see many failed diets. Um, <laughs> what she doesn't realize, though, she's like playing with her life. And life isn't a game. The human body can only take so much. I don't see her changing or stopping this behavior or doing any better on her own. All right, let's read some more comments. Um, let's see. Zool said, I love Julia and Howie. Have we seen Howie lately? Do we have proof of life, you guys? Um, let's see. Gemini Gem said, I haven't seen a flip top tab like that since I was a kid. Donna said, meat looks gorgeous. I don't think I've ever said that about meat. Is it lamb, hun? Anyway, I could eat right now. Throw away my frozen chicken. I'm just about to eat. Enjoy, Donna. Um, Sparky said, what is the purpose of those green leaves? Anyone know? <laughs> and ROH said, cleanse the palate of the flavors. Yes, that is right. But Foodie Beauty, did you guys see her munching on it like a rabbit during the shorts? <laughs> okay, let's read some more comments. Um, Smudge said, is there anything, any plan you'll actually stick to? I know the answer is no, just asking rhetorically. Yeah, no, no, no. Nick said, pack your bags and go back to Canada. Get your freedom back while you still can. You are always at home. You don't go anywhere. Uh, let's see. Lemon Graboids asked, are you going to get a dining table? Is it custom to sit on the floor? Cherry said, some Muslim Arab people do sit on the floor and eat. They lay out a sheet on the floor and have one big dish and eat out of that together. However, a lot of people don't and eat at a dining table. The affluent Arabs would definitely use a dining table. Their homes are magnificent. Um, my question is, okay, if it's custom, but like, if she's having so much back pain, how is she getting up and down off the floor at her weight with it not bothering her back? Twice Divorcee Bird said, may I say something? Honestly, I'm not a hater, but I wonder, am I the only one that their brain's neurons are being over-triggered from the sounds while eating or chewing? Especially from the sound of jaw? Not only foodie beauty, generally speaking, no twice divorcee. I don't think you're the only one. Um, it's definitely why I edit and mute the mukbangs that I, uh, the mukbang videos of foodie beauty I do. I can't handle it all. I try and it's like, oh no, it's too much. Um, let's see. A star said, going back to get Sam, water fast, diet, going back to Canada, all lies for views. That has 190 likes. I'm going to make it 191. Um, Karan of Earth said, girl changed her mind as usual, always. She's always changing her mind. Uh, let's scroll up. Brianna Chembri said, you cannot breathe properly when you put food in your mouth. It's really sad seeing you struggle to eat food. Her breathing is so bad right now. Um, Brianna asked, do you have depression? Um, okay, I'm going to scroll and you guys can pause and read some of these. I believe she's supposed to be on medication, but she's... Remember when she would take Pete's medication and now she's taking Salah's pain medicine? She never takes her actual medication or stays on the medication she's supposed to be on. Um, what's up, Doc said? She never seems depressed when the food is in front of her. Facts. <laughs> Facts. Okay, let's read these comments before they get deleted. Ronchi Donchies asked, why aren't you making food? If I was home all day long and didn't prepare at least a meal or two, my husband would definitely begin side-eyeing. What are you doing all day? Okay, Ronchi Donchi also said, you change your mind more often than your underwear. <laughs> try being authentic for god's sake you're ruining your channel whether you see it or not and soon to follow will be your husband because really how much can one person tolerate especially when the love is manufactured it is one thing if there was actually love between you but it's pretty obvious it's a complete farce you aren't as good an actress as you think once for you're only hurting yourself all right you guys i'm gonna go find that community post that foodie beauty deleted so i'll see you in a second in the next clip oh by the way i liked that comment okay so here's the foodie beauty deleted post or community post it said i'm not traveling to canada to renew my visa if that was the case i would wait until it's due to expire 
The tourist visa people think I'm still on expires every three months, so the first time it was set up to expire was end of May, and I didn't travel then. Next three months would bring it to the end of August, but I will be traveling at a different time than that, so the soon after we will go on our planned trip. If I don't lose the weight I want by then, we just won't do certain activities, but no matter what, we are going. I also don't understand the obsession with my status, as if I owe strangers any of this information. It's so bizarre. People are insanely obsessed with every minute and trivial detail of my life. It screams boredom and unfulfilled life, which is ironically what those same people accuse me of having. Yet I don't feel my day obsessing over lives of others. Let me stop you right there, you pathological liar. You spend your day creating sock account after sock account after sock account to come harass me in, on my channel. And you think that I'm not intelligent enough to figure out it's you. You repeat the same regurgitated, you, you vomit the same crap over and over and over about me, the same insults. You spend your day searching your name. You spend your day watching anybody who reacts to you. You obsess over FFG and her cat, BBJ. Let's continue. <laughs> She's such a liar. She continues, actually, we recently attended a beautiful traditional wedding. Yeah, right. Foodie, I don't believe anybody wants to be seen with you. She continues, there was so much food. Of course, that's the first thing she says. She has to mention food. Okay. There was so much food and dancing and friends and family. Whose friends, not yours. Whose family, not yours. And I don't believe you can dance at this point. She continues, just because we don't film our private lives anymore doesn't mean fill in the blanks. Heck, some of you take the word of some creators without them showing any of their lives, lol. It's incredibly bizarre, but it doesn't affect my life, so whatever. Oh my gosh, you guys. All right, let's talk about this in the comment section. She's full of it. She's angry, she's miserable, and of course, misery loves company, so she's trying to make everybody feel exactly how she feels. Something's up behind the scenes. I think her and Salah are fighting. Something's definitely happening that she needs to rage on people and keep bringing up BBJ, BBJ, BBJ. When she doesn't care about BBJ, she willingly, I have the video on my channel, she willingly gave BBJ to Pete's to hand over to just anybody through the door. And BBJ just happened to go with FFG who rescued her. I wanna say too, I hope BBJ is doing amazing. FFG, I'm not your biggest fan, but thank you for rescuing BBJ, and um, I hope you're having a great day, too. All right, you guys, let's talk about this in the comment section. Have a great day, great evening, wherever you are, and I will see you so soon. Bye.